There are two amateur fights left. Up next at 155-ish pounds. In the blue corner, Giovanni the Matador, Amador Rosales. Giovanni Rosales. His opponent, Gerardo. Ayers versus Giovanni Rosales. Looks like a bodybuilder. <laughs> he definitely looks in great shape tonight. <laughs> Once again, uh, Ayers no looks chiseled. Photography or videography allowed. Please disable the flash. I promise you, it's not helping to light up the cage. And also, I want to acknowledge the person who is holding up a sign that said Weapon X. I'm not sure which one of those that is, but. I'm all for signs. Okay. <laughs> These two fighters weigh approximately 155 pounds. First up, in the blue corner. He weighed in yesterday at 155. He fights for AKA in San Jose. Giovanni the Matador. Amador Rosales. Giovanni the Matador. Dragon House MMA, 26 <laughs> years old, in his debut fight as a mixed martial artist. Here we go. Rosales, Ayers, round one. And we're off. The touch of gloves. Feeling at each other. So. There he is. Does have a. Uh, background in uh, wrestling, as you can tell by his uh, shoulder tattoo, American uh, Wrestling Association and such. But with... Uh, that was a nice counter there with that left hook. High school wrestling background from Vallejo, California at, uh, I believe, Jesse Bethel High School? I could be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Jesse Bethel High School. And boxing. To say because he definitely looks like he's got some technical striking to him. Um, so far, looks content on standing on his feet, doesn't look to be going for any takedowns just yet. Rosales coming forward with a flurry of punches. Head kick attempt just missed. See Darius not throwing much uh, or many leg kicks. Overhead, D, overhead. You might throw a few leg kicks here and there, and it might help you uh, open your opponent up for uh, some boxing. Right, right. Nice roundhouse landing to the thigh there. Let's see if there's. Oh, there nice go, left. landing with left cross. And the opponent, Gonzalez. Gonzalez uh, just encroaching. Nice leg kick, Brendan. Interesting round there. Um, a lot of action, but um, nobody really showing any significant, um, uh, you know, as far as being the dominant. So definitely going to be an interesting round to score there. It's pretty much back and forth. Uh, we'll see how the judges score this round. Rosales, 155 pound lightweight bout. Nice head kick attempt. 
long roundhouse, and he's utilizing his range now. Yeah. Let's see if he can use that uh, follow up with his combinations. I kind of want to see Rosales set those head kicks up just a little more. Uh, maybe go low, go low, then go high. Arias looks to be stalking in this round, coming with the left hook. Working that uh, very accurate boxing. Yeah. He's got a nice jab. Yeah. Gonzalez answers back with a jab of his own. You don't really see much of that from the shorter fighter typically, working the jab that well. Very elusive, good footwork. Good footwork there. A little taunting there by Rosales. He looks yeah, the team taunted off. by Rosales. And it's working. Rosales is uh, able to close the distance. He's walking straight forward. Surprisingly, with the wrestling background, uh, Arias has not attempted a takedown at all. See if that comes into play. Oh, that's a, that's a high roundhouses. Arias has got some good head movement. Uh, definitely an elusive fighter. Uh, very, very good movement. Yep. Rushing forward. Ayers able to keep his composure though. Rosales hey, gives him the double. Exchange. He's gonna have to bite down and give something back right here. There he goes with the double. And he goes with a double. Oh, and he takes his opponent down. Beautiful takedown by Ayers. Watch out for this arm bar. He wants to keep his hips. Definitely a power difference there. Uh, definitely a little too easy. Uh, I bet you his corner right now is telling Ayers that uh, you need to go for another one of those double legs, get him down to the ground and finish this fight. Giovanni immediately uh, setting up an armbar when he went down. He didn't quite secure it, but um, looks like he's confident off his back. I don't think he's worried about that. You can see how both of these flow into each other. takedown. So right now Rosales is going to have to work to get those points back. Either be dominant on the stand-up, get a knockdown, or go for a takedown of his own. Absolutely, because those takedowns uh, in the judge's eyes definitely score a lot of points. This is the third round. In a close fight like this, those takedowns will more than likely be the difference, uh, be the difference maker. Rosales doing the stalking. Indeed, uh, Darius fatiguing. Yeah. Looks like his Breathing leg might heavily. Be, looks like his leg might be hurt. Rosales is, uh, I think he can sense it. He's chasing him down right now. Working that leg kick. One, twos. 
And you see D going in for another takedown. Oh, just not enough time to secure that last takedown. It might not even matter anyway, though. Uh, in my eyes, I think Darius, uh, Darius won the fight, but uh, we'll see what the judges have to say about this one. Interesting. Interesting. Rosales comes with a split decision victory over Ayers. Uh, there's an interesting decision there. Um, I thought for sure Ayers had that fight, but I know I've been wrong many times before. And uh, Rosales gets his lamb hit. Congratulations. Well done.